It's on. We're on. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Thank you for joining us for our latest Sylvia Findings live stream episode 88, I believe. Seems like an auspicious episode for, um, I guess we plan to do uh, Mother's Day gifts today. And, uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of good ideas, uh, things that I think are awesome, uh, things that are very simple, very easy. Um, yeah. And, and terrific and I'm gonna also show you a couple of things here because in the end you know uh, you know we're trying to sell stuff so here we are uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of Mother's Day uh, gifts uh, and stuff like you know and some things but first I just I want to talk a, a, a little bit about um, custom service because uh, to me I think Mother's Day gift uh, awesome Mother's Day gift would be uh, I mean it might be too late now I doubt you'd get it before Mother's Day if you ordered something now um, you know but we're just doing so much custom work now uh, it's great I love it um, and that could be in the form of just you know something you have an idea in your mind you know you have a little doodle you've been doodling your whole life that you finally want to see as a piece of jewelry uh, oh look at the reflection of my eyeglasses sorry <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, there is a issue with, uh, or actually it is like sort of good news, bad news kind of thing. Sorry, I'm a little disjointed uh, this morning. I'm thinking about <laughs> too many things at once. Um, uh, there's some good news, bad news as far as the logistics front goes. And I know that, uh, you know, I have tried to stay away from, uh, uh, being too doom and gloom over the whole uh, global logistics situation sort of thing and um, you know I, I still like to um, rag on uh, Canada Post because they're my favorite punching bag because they're just so so ready they're just so it's like low-hanging fruit it's just they're so bad um, but anyway neither here nor there uh, hopefully uh, for those of you who are um, watching outside of Canada you know one thing I, I lived in the United States for 24 years and um, I guess I never appreciated how good US Postal Service is you know like I can ship something from Seattle to uh, Maryland like clear across the country coast to coast uh, a regular first-class parcel and it'll get there in four or five days no problem here, if I ship something from, uh, I just ship something from here halfway across, well, it's a little more than halfway, we'll call it, uh, you know, two thirds of the way across the country to uh, Ontario. Uh, and we're looking at 20 days. I, oh, and I just looked this morning uh, to, to just double check something. We shipped a parcel from here on the, let me get the dates right. It was the 14th of January no the 21st of January and it got to it was delivered to the person in France uh, not Paris either it was some you know crazy suburb out in the middle of the boonies um, on the 12th of February so what is that that's like not even two weeks barely two weeks you know we can't ship something from here to the other end of the country in two weeks in Canada Post and it's uh, probably costs as much you know I get it I get it we're spread out you know we have like this uh, our infrastructure is not built for this we have little tiny uh, cities uh, who's interrupted by live stream uh, we have these little you know these or I should say these you know great big cities and then in between all of these big cities we have like hundreds of miles of tinderland and, or you know forest or mountains uh, and not really a lot in between them, you know. So, um, you know, you got to keep the postal rates um, kind of like equalized. So, if you're shipping something, you know, across the street, it's you know going to be the same price as if you shipped it, uh, you know, across the province. And uh, when you do that, sometimes you're <laughs> delivering stuff to people who are literally mountain cabin, you know. In the middle of nowhere and uh, uh, 
So we all pay for that. So anyway, uh, I, I guess that's it. Uh, I just wanted to say, so my point was, uh, logistics in uh, parts of Europe are really looking up, really looking good. And Nelson was just saying before that, um, you know, they don't care about COVID anymore. Things are getting back to normal. And my response is, well, you know, people may not care about COVID, but COVID cares about you. So it's still out there, folks. Anyway, uh, as evidenced by the issues that we're having, uh, you know, in uh, uh, Hong Kong, you know, uh, all of the freight that comes to the office that we make, you know, I mean, we own the factory, we make it all sort of thing, but it doesn't happen in this country, right? I mean, I guess most people know that. Um, and when we uh, get semi-monthly, or supposed to be semi-monthly, not really bi-weekly, more semi-monthly, uh, which means twice, twice a month, right? Every half month or so we get a shipment um, from our factory. And uh, what happens is it leaves the factory it goes to Hong Kong, and from Hong Kong it gets on a flight, a DHL, you know, flight. Either it's a, a an actual DHL plane or it's a commercial flight that it gets, you know, piggybacked on, and then it comes here. But in between there, when it gets to the airport, it's not like they just take the box and put it on an airplane, right? They put it in those uh, 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 bulwark, uh, you know, I don't know those uh, those those big bins that you see that are kind of the shape of the fuselage of the plane that just fit in nicely. And, uh, and they generally don't ship one of those until they're mostly full. So, it, you know, the trouble they've been having, you know, you know, with COVID making pretty big resurgence there and, and um, you know, lots of issues. So things end up sitting there for a week or more, you know, so it's like, well, you know, we wanted to get these things out and we wanted to get them in. And, you know, we have all these custom items that are coming in that people are waiting for. And... You know, it's uh, it's like you're praying to the logistics gods. Please <laughs> let let you know our packages get to the airport at a time when they're as close to getting on a flight. You know, so you never know. It might be a, you know a day, it might be a couple days. That's rarely a day. It might be a couple days. It might be a week or more. You know, I, I think the longest I paid attention to it that we've waited is like ten days. You know, uh, so even though it's coming by uh, plane. You know, uh, stuff still takes a long time, sometimes, sometimes. But um, we're about uh, happy things. Mother's Day is coming up. I don't even know when it's coming up. I, what a terrible son I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it's next month. Pretty sure it's next month, right? May, April, May. It's in May, right? Yeah, Mother's Day is in May. Um, anyway, there'll be time you know, for you to order any of the stuff that I'm talking about today, sort of thing, for you to get it from Mother's Day. So that, that's fine. Custom work, maybe not so much, but uh, yeah, that's where we are. Um, I do just want to, before I get into the other stuff, there is one cool thing that you can do for Mother's Day. Um, and let me, let me just make this small and switch the places here. Oh no. Can I turn this? How do I do this? <laughs> oh boy. I can't make this stand work the way I want. Anyway, will that work? Uh, so let me just show you. Imagine. If it's, if it's uh, you know, your mom is a new mom, you know, like new enough that uh, there's still like breast milk <laughs> hanging around. If you take some of that and, uh, you know, I don't know, leave it in a saucer or something, dehydrate it, let it uh, dry out and then crush it up and then mix it up with some epoxy resin. Uh, you can get like a two-part epoxy resin and get it on Amazon. And then, you, you know, we have these pendants uh, these bezel cup pendants and rings and whatever and uh, you can just mix up some of that uh, epoxy resin with that thing and, and you know it makes kind of like a cool thing but you can also add different color effects like here's one that I've added some like a uh, pink rose I think it was supposed to be rose gold and this like some gold gold right and uh, you know I had to just put little bits of metal in there and little rings to show you what you could do but um, 
you know, if you put uh, mix up some breast milk and some kind of cool colors and sparkles, and you can have a nice little breast milk pendant, you know, based on the thing. Maybe uh, if you did it really, really subtly, if you took like a little, you know, shrunk a little picture of the baby and, you know, glued it onto the inside and then feel that that would look really cool, right? I don't know. Uh, I think this is a cool for a new mother. Anyway, Mother's Day. Cute thing. And we have these in um, a bunch of different sizes. These are the big oval ones. And we've also got round ones. And we've also got rings with all of those things. So, you know, you can make, uh, you can make anything. And uh, I did that in another video. Uh, actually <laughs> made this one in another video uh, that you can look up. I don't know what episode that was. 80 something, I think. Um, but the thing I wanted to show you, um, mostly that I think is like one of the best Mother's Day presents that you can get are, uh, just these cute little cages. You know, we have so many different styles of these things. Um, and this might be just kind of like a, <laughs> a commercial for these cages. Um, this is probably the biggest one I think that we've got, uh, think, right? And, uh, the beautiful thing about these is, uh, you know, they, they've got a hinge, you know, they open up. The bale is multiple parts, right? So when you open it up, um, the bale comes apart. You can put whatever little keepsake, you know, I don't know. I just picked up a little cabochon here, uh, put that in there, and that closes up. And, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, you've got some baby teeth, something gross like that, <laughs> or uh, something cute. I don't know, a little pebble you picked up on a beach that's some meaningful, I don't know something you know moms have all those little tchotchkes lying around right <laughs> little uh, keepsakes and this is a way to keep it um, you know to keep them in place this one in particular quite a big one uh, mtp 211 is 20 no 31 dollars and 38 cents is the retail price on that one um and then as far as the chains go these are two uh, new chains. These We've only got these in the past uh, couple months. Past couple months. Uh, and these are my two new... I, I think these are the most versatile uh, chains that we've had in a long time, right? Uh, this one, SF1296, you know, for uh, an 18-inch uh, necklace, it's only 8, 6, 865, right, is the retail price. It's a lovely little curb chain, right, a little sparkly. Um, you know, it's big enough that it doesn't look out of place on something big, but you could also use it, uh, and this is the other beautiful thing about these cages, right, is that once that's strung on, right, that's it, that's not going to hold up, that's not going to, or that's not going to open up. So, I don't know, I love this combo of this thing. If you want something a little more delicate looking, this one, because this one, it, it's still small, right? I don't want to make it sound like it's some giant chain because it's not, uh, you know, but it's not um, super, uh, it's not flimsy looking. It's very, uh, you know, it's very substantial looking, even though it is small. I just love those flat cable chains and the way they sparkle. I don't know if you can see that sparkle on that, right? Twisting that around. Very cool. And this other one is uh, more of a flat curb chain. Right? I don't know if you can see that close up. This, I think, is probably the best new chain that we've had in years. I think it's super versatile. Um, you know, you know, nice and strong. Hey, the strength of any of these cla uh, chains are always going to be, you know, the clasp. That's where, if it's going to fail, if it's going to break, that's where it's going to break. You know, usually, uh, you know, if it's a really bad, uh, you know, a baby grabbing a necklace and pulling on it, uh, probably the loop there on the solder to the end of the chain will break off. Or, um, you know, one of these other jump rings will break. Rarely, I've seen it happen, but rarely uh, the top of the clasp will break off kind of thing, right? But uh, these are all that. People ask me, you know, what's a sturdy chain? And the question is really, it's the, you know, the chains are not the issue. The chains are all super strong, um, you know, because these are all uh, closed pieces, right? It's not like they're open jump rings that these are made out of, right? They're all solid pieces. 
um, fused shut when they're made. Uh, so the um, the weak part is always going to be the clasp. And, uh, you know, it's pretty strong, you know. <laughs> the, the old adage, you know, are you making uh, jewelry or gymnasium equipment, right? I mean, you don't need the things to be, like, super strong. Just strong enough that, the you know, the average, if you're pulling it, you know, uh, a, a sweater on or something and it gets snagged, it's not going to break. Just that kind of thing, uh, which is just fine. But uh, I think there's very few chains in the world that, uh, you know, if... Uh, you know, a toddler grabs a hold of it and gives it a good yank <laughs> that they, you know, they won't break. Um, well, actually most won't, but. Um, so this lovely flat cable chain, if you want something a little more supple looking, a little more uh, delicate looking, you know, it's a little flatter. And uh, this cable chain, if you want something a little more traditional, uh, a little, I don't know, a little bit beefier, you know, version. But anyway. Let's get back to these uh, cages because, oh, here's one that I just love this. You know, I, uh, I just noticed that this one in the tray that we have, the display tray, uh, it's backwards. It's mounted upside down so that you can't see this lovely, um, I don't know, what's that uh, amphora sort of shape on the front with some cubic zirconias in there. And that, you know, pulls open. Oh, I can do it. Right? It's got a pretty wide, you know, back. Let me just put this you know, a cute little garnet heart in there that I just put in there <laughs> just so that you can see what it looks like with something in it. I just love that, right? And these cages are designed so, you know, uh, unless you've got something really thin or whatever, you know, they're not going to, they're not going to hop out, right? But let me just go through a couple of these really quickly. Um, got this one. little. Oh, I didn't say the... Uh, you're right. Sorry, I didn't say the uh, skew of this other chain, this flat chain. Uh, SF1297. So it's uh, these two new ones. 1296 and 1297 are the uh, the skews for these things. And these are all available to 16, 18, and 20 inch lengths. Um, and just for example, this uh, 18 inch length is only $10.46 at a retail price. 626 is the wholesale price. Uh, in case you were planning on getting like a whole bunch of <laughs> uh, settings. Okay, here's some uh, things. We've got this lovely little crown, little jester hat, you know, crown, MTP 994. I love this one, this heart, right? All these cages, they all open up. You put keepsakes in them. Um, some of these are kind of cool, like this one, right, with the dolphins. Um, cage piece opens on the back right so the bars are more if you boy I wish I had a sample of put the thing if you could put like a pearl or something in there it'll look like the dolphins are you know framing the pearl whatever very cute very cool um, it's like the most simple version of that a nice kind of like a pear um, shaped crown for whatever MTP 935 here's one actually got something in it actually uh here's a little uh another crown whoops another crown shape right and i'm just going over these quickly you know i mean i did a whole you know segment on these in a previous video on these baskets uh or these uh cages so you can go look at that if you want to know the actual skews or you can just you know message me and say mark what was that thing with the dolphins uh, thing and I'll, I'll get it out for you uh, I love this one it's very cool because it's uh, it appeals to my geometric sensibilities I just love how this you know it's still the same concept but it opens up into two halves of these it looks like a cube but the inside piece is rectangular so, oops. <laughs> so it's just kind of a cute, where's the opening on this again? There it is. Right, see how it's kind of rectangular? Be just because you're looking at the cross section of the thing. It's kind of very ingenious. But uh, I love how it says love on the thing with that. So cute. The hearts. Oh, I think that's one of my favorites. Here's another very cool one, like a leaping fish, right? So imagine if you put a you know a pearl or something in there. 
it would be very sweet. And on both sides is a kind of a cool twisty one, right? Nice big wide bars. This would have to be something pretty wide, you know, like a big nice big. Uh, uh, oh, thanks, Lise, for that uh, for the links, <laughs> engage settings. Uh, and this is the one that I that I showed you here before with that uh, you know big thing in there. Uh, this is kind of cool because it has two sides. One side is kind of. Uh, uh, straight pieces i don't know and the other side is a little you know wilder you know a little a little more swirly little curly cues this is a little more angular you know it's still obviously the same piece but cute and here's a <laughs> maybe not appropriate for mother's day uh you know unless your mother is a uh, breast cancer survivor which i guess that could be kind of cool right uh, again, you know, meant for a bead or a pearl or something to put in there to frame that around the front. Very cool. I love that. Uh, here's a, a neat one. This one is tricky. There's a little latch to hold that closed. This you'd want this one to be pretty close to the actual size of the uh, of the bead or the pearl, you know, to hold that in place, to lock that in place. And um, if your mom is a... Uh, you know, into the little piracy thing, you know, you never know. Arr! Nice big, you know, cage in there. I always imagine something like a, you know, like a nice red bead or something to get that, uh, <laughs> the eyes glowing red. I don't know why. From uh, piracy to something a little more namaste. <laughs> There's a little lotus uh, flower, right? I love this one. I think this, we sell a lot of these ones. These lotus flowers, just because they're cute, they're cool, and uh, yeah. Here's another good one, right? This, let me just get one out of the inventory so you can see how this opens up, because it's very cool. It just opens up here at the top, right? Oh, I can do it. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. Not looking at the actual piece, but looking at the camera, and it's making me it's giving, giving me trouble here, right? So the uh, the top of this opens up and closes, right? So I think, but then the whole thing is like a big key, right? Some hearts, it's cute, it's so cute, uh, and that I, that I can see putting something, you know, cute, interesting, like uh, I don't know. Here's one uh, that it's like this is actually. <laughs> I just noticed this has been sitting in the uh, tray for years and years. And for some reason, it seems to keep stretching because the, the actual tendon is not like that. It's almost perfectly round, right? <laughs> I don't know why it got stretched like this. I think it's just because, uh, you know, uh, as it's sitting in the tray and maybe another tray gets on top of it, you know, kind of pushes it down. Uh, <laughs> But I need to fix that anyway. So that this is what that's supposed to look like. Nice big round one. Uh, so uh, the stone still fits though. So that's kind of cool, right? I like that. Here's another cute heart thing. Oh, it's another cute with the rings. Oh, you know what? I'm just noticing now those, those uh, the orientation of those rings in there almost looks like it's like an Olympic, <laughs> Olympic heart. So maybe if your mom's an Olympic athlete or was, or maybe still is, you never know, right? Olympics are for everyone now. <laughs> Here's some uh, rounds. We've got a bunch of different sizes, this sort of thing, and that other great big huge one that's that, that just the display one's not round anymore but you saw with those things right so we've got a, a, a couple different sizes of these uh, rounds and then uh lovely fanciful ones like this uh pumpkin i don't know to me it's like a snow white right pumpkin carriage no not snow white who's, who's the one i'm thinking of um <laughs> uh, you know, with Prince Charming and the... Uh, oh, Cinderella. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> Whatever. Just cute little uh, pumpkin carriage pendant thing. Cage. 
This is cute because it's uh, another heart with a little key, right? Open the cage, although it doesn't actually go into anything, so it's just cute as a decoration. Um, here, I don't know why this particular stone is in there as an example, but um, this actually fits pretty good for, you can often find those crystal points, you know, that they, you know, people never really seem to know how to use them or what's a good way to attach them to make a piece of jewelry. And, and these pendants are great for that. They open up lengthwise. Like the whole thing opens up lengthwise, right? And you could place your little crystal point in there and then close that up. Or uh, I don't know if you want it to be really morbid. You can get a little, you know, a little... Uh, plastic person and hang them in there like he's uh, <laughs> some kind of a uh, torture implement. You know, maybe your mom's weird. Who knows? I don't know. Here's a lovely, uh, obviously an elephant, right? Stylized, but it's still an elephant, right? If you're lucky. Might want that. And uh, here's a cute, very uh, a little more calm filigree sort of flowery vines things and uh, I know that's a lot but we're not done we've got more here's a great big giant seahorse I like this one because it right uh, this obviously is meant to fit a uh, you know big pearl or something the uh, cage is only the the back is only this part right so um, you know it's meant to have a big pearl or something in there a, you know a bead or whatever Lovely little cubic zirconia for the eyeballs. Um, what else? Oh, here's another. This is probably a little more obviously a carriage. Whoops. It's open. It's not that closed, right? But you get the point. More Cinderella. And this one, which I think would probably sell more of these than any of the others except the plain round one, right? This is just a, oh, there's two in there. This is just a nice big heart. These have been squished together, but you can probably push those open a little bit more. So it's a little bit wider. Right, it's beveled on the inside. So your bead or whatever will fit beautifully in there and not move once you've snapped that shut. I love that. So cool. And then, uh, Here's one, a cute little heart, maybe not appropriate for Mother's Day. <laughs> That's a little more of a sweetheart sort of thing. Um, I don't know, maybe, you're, maybe your mom's a hippie. Cute, man. Peace and love. Right? Or a beach bum. Right, isn't that the uh, universal symbol for uh, beach? I think, right? A little barefoot? I don't know. Uh... Cute little seashell. So, I don't know. For me, I'd probably a pearl or something would go in there nicely. And then the, the last cage that we've got is, again, something, I don't know, not very Mother's Day-ish. Little snowflake on the front. On the back. Just very cool all around. And, and that's it. That's my uh, Mother's Day suggestion for you. Um, got a whole uh, pile of cages, a bunch of different cages you can look at. I guess the uh, link is there in the, uh, in the chat. Um, I guess we'll put the link uh, also when we post this on YouTube. The link will also be there uh, for those cages. Don't forget those two chains. I, you know what? Now that I'm thinking of it, I don't even think they're actually on the website yet. I will get those on the website uh, today, tomorrow. Uh, SF1296 and SF1297. Beautiful new chains. Um, and we've got lots of them, so don't worry about uh, <laughs> running out. And cages, wonderful idea. I like the, uh, you know, the breast milk thing for, my, even though, I mean, it's kind of gross, let's you know, face it. But there are a lot of people who are doing that as a business. That's what they're doing. They're like, you know, send us your breast milk and we'll mix it up into a thing and make a little cabochon. Um, you know, and you can see how to do that yourself. You know, pretty simple. 
Um, although, you know, uh, I definitely you should uh, look at uh, some of those people because some of the stuff those people are making are awesome. You know, they're just, I uh, think, and they do more than just kind of like pour a little bit into a uh, setting the way I did in my little demo. They actually make cabochons. They have, uh, you know, they cast their own, you know, pieces and they can make all kinds of really, really cool things um, that are a little beyond the purview of what uh, we were doing here kind of thing. But just so you know, it's available, those kind of things. I mean, we look up uh, commemorative jewelry or breast milk jewelry and you can see all those kind of things. And we've got all the findings to do those. So, uh uh, you know, if you ever get, uh, you know, the, the idea that you, know, the, you get the itch to uh, start a new uh, a new branch of this hobby, um, you know, that's a good one. You know, we've got lots of uh, findings to be able to do that uh, kind of thing with. Uh, what else? I feel like that's that basically covers it. It's such a short video today, I guess. Um, so in the meantime... I guess so. We'll see. We don't have a, another show until um, end of the month in Calgary, where uh, we're going to be at the uh, Vivo Center, I think it is. Uh, well, you can look it up. It's on the social medias, and it's on our calendar or somewhere. Um, you can look up all that stuff. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to call it a day. Take care of yourself. Take care of the planet. Take care of your mental health. And uh, most importantly, just keep creating, make stuff. And if you have any questions about anything that I showed you today, just get a hold of me. Um, you know, either send me a message here uh, or mark at canadafindings.com is my email address. Um, you know, you can get me through the site or through whatever. You can get a hold of me. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, I wanted to mention, and it's escaping my head right now. But I, I don't know. I, guess, I mean, if you have any questions about anything, uh, you know, I because I think in the next couple of weeks we're going to do like a compilation mailbag sort of section uh, 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 episode where uh, I'm just answering a bunch of questions. Um, thing. Uh, and I've already got a few questions that, that are just ready that are probably not enough to fill a whole episode. I mean, I probably could because I can ramble on <laughs> for days. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, uh, jewelry related or uh, you know having to do specifically with a product of ours or not uh, I'm here I'm your answer guy so let me know uh, right take care of yourself take care of the planet take care of your mental health and I will see you next week all right take care bye-bye where does that finish no that